voice in our ears, but the more we waste the sound of its tone. Back everyone to Total Warhammer 3 in part 2 of our legendary Grease's Gold Tooth Immortal Empires campaign. In today's episode, we are here a turn later where I've brought Grease's over in a march stance right next to the Valley of Horns uh, with the idea to attack the settlement with Kevin himself and let Grease's be the reinforcements that are going to be hiding kind of on this other side of the settlement, ready to move back into the camp. Uh, Radius here as soon as the battle's over, that way we can start regenerating a bit of our meat because we are dangerously low and the boys are probably about to start snacking on one another. Already breaking out the barbecue sauce. We have uh, spread out a little bit of the upgrades to the different Mawgate and the Great Hall of Rhesus is almost done. The Mawgate is the one that we kicked on in this turn. Uh, Correct Krakatan will be likely the next if we don't decide just to go ahead and, and save up for Grimtop so we can get in those Maneaters. Well, these are Iron Guts here. That is even better because Grease is going to be giving all the Iron Guts all sorts of upkeep production. Alright, so we are going to come on in and into the turn quickly here. Our, our plan is going to be to crash into the Valley of Horns, let Greases build up a little bit of meat and see exactly what uh, Gorse is going to be planning. He has pretty well extinguished all of his uh, foes for now. I don't think he's currently at war with anyone. Um, let me show you the death. Yeah, is never definitely not. So he, he's likely to be uh, declaring on us pretty soon. Uh, we also want to deal with the Dawi up here in the north also very fast. Trying to catch up to the Firemouth before Grimgore does, but at that point we might be stretching our empire a little bit too thin. Uh, so we'll see how things play out. Evan's ambush was foiled, uh, but Gragas was not brave enough to come out and face him. Uh, sharper weapons do more damage, something that many ogres learn from watching their butcher at work. Get their whetstones to work, we've got five more attack for all of our ogre bull units. Which is fantastic. Oh, what is not is it nine or four leftover meat? We need to do some battle quickly. So we're not going to be able to actually move past them, which is fine. We'll just come on up into a normal stance right next to it. Make him legendary. We'll have uh, Kevin stop the fight. Otherwise, we're going to start snacking on one another pretty aggressively. So Greg is hiding out with three Ogre Bulls. We could let Auto Resolve have this one, but I think this will probably be our last battle against Ogres for the rest of the campaign. I'm thinking Grimgore will finish them all up in the, in the north there, so we'd be ashamed to not do so ourselves. We'll have ourselves a pre-battle feast. He's got a ton of food here. Let's dive on into the Siege of the Valley of the Horns. We've got a terribly uh, bad mountain to climb up. Sorry, Gregus, your final hike. All right, so we just have to wait for a minute 51 before Greases and his squad shows up to finish things. Perfect, we'll start deployment, and I think we'll have uh, Kevin hide out over up on top of the hill here. There's going to be a lot of ogres over there, so if they charge over after us, it's going to be a uh, dangerous game of tag. Let's get it going. A minute 50 is how long we have to wait, so we'll speed things up, see what they're up to. And if I can't sneak him around the outside... So we can meet up with the others, I'm gonna try. Might also try smashing into these Noblars and then activating the Groundbreaker. 30 seconds before reinforcements. Stay a little ways away from them, I don't know if they might try to attack us on their way in. 8 seconds. Is that a bridge or like an old aqueduct? Definitely a bridge. And there's the trappers. So let's keep you this way. We'll start rotating back up to the top of the hill. Stay just far enough away from those trappers you're not getting hit. And here comes Greases and company, who have already been patched, sadly. So he's not rolling around at, uh, at Mach 4 anymore. Keep the Tyrant moving. It's going to keep them incredibly disorganized. We'll have our Novelars sprint up to uh, the forest. Iron Guts and Maneaters take the flank. Ogres are kind of reinforcing one at a time there. The Very slowly. I'll go where I like. You'll go where you like, huh? Up this hill. 
Well, now we'll grab the rest of the bulls as they come on in. You bulls follow the fire belly. We'll have the dual clubs hang out in the middle here. We are trapped in this back corner, but that means so are they. Well, Greases and the fire belly work together. We get far enough away from the Noblars, I'll turn the Tyrant around and he can clobber that poor fool. Let's go for a single fireball into these bulls charging us. Ooh, try to dodge that if you can. Okay, instead we'll go for the Burning Head. Bring the Ogres in to help. Hey, um... We broke the Matrix for a moment there, but it looks like everything is fine. Try to push the Fire Belly on through. Looks like the, the Noblars decided to keep on throwing down, which I'm incredibly impressed with. We'll have the Trappers come on and take a position here. It looks like the Tyrant is indeed throwing down with their Slaughtermaster, and he should easily win that one. A little bit more damage, so there's no reason not to. Now, so we get these dual weapon bulls and get them charging on in. They can clobber this, this massive blob here. Come on, bulls. Work together. Otherwise, we're going to lose lots of Doblars for no reason. Well done, lads. We will let these bulls snack on the Noblars if they don't retreat too fast. Noblars go after the Ogres in the back there. Uh, you two just keep them bogged down, keep stabbing them in the ankles. A tyrant is always going to beat a uh, Slaughter Bastard in a fight. Meat grinder to the gut. At least at base level. It's not going to be much of a fight. As the leader flees. Oh, Noblar battle. Let's bring them all over here after this group. Those Ogre Bulls came on back into fight, so we'll go for a bit of overwhelming force. And another burning head. Attempt to do so through our Noblars only. Or is it through their Noblars only? It worked out alright. Most of them should be fleeing. We'll have the Man Eaters and the Iron Guts work together there. And there's the victory. As simple as predicted, but we did have to do a bit of dangerous game of tag. Reese's is looking a mess, just as he wants. I'm going to run down these Noblars for a bit of extra experience, and I'll catch you in a moment. Alright, decisive victory, 79 lost. And the Over Tyrant is uh, disappointed in each and every one of you. I'll take the extra meat, but that's actually all going to the wrong army. Goldtooth needs to run. And so we're just going to go ahead and occupy the Valley of Horns, which should give him two big names. Ogre Killer and Mountain Eater. Which I'm thinking we're going to go for the uh, second one. Or the Ward Sable, we'll see. Sons of the Mountain have been wiped out, and we've got five big names across all of our characters. So a heap of treasury and some new armor. Great. Oh, He's all the way up to rank 5 with that battle there, so we go for great impressive wealth, extra recruit rank for the Lowlords army, and then more recruit capacity for the province. I mean... But enlarging his girth. Several large creatures all rolled into one. I think first we want Mountain, or Route Marcher, to get through the mountains a little bit faster, and then we'll come on back over and grab... Greater Girth. What does it go up to? 15% weapon strength? That's the way. And for your Valor in Battle, you can have yourself the Armor of Silvered Steel. 20 more armor. 110. Very nice. Gracious, the shocking over on over to the uh, Stanky Boy. I think we'll just give him... Make the Fireball as cheap as possible actually fairly effective against other ogres, and I'm betting we can use it to pretty good effect against a Grimgore or any kind of heroes he has as well. Sword Noblars for Greasus. Lookout Noblars are lucky. Physical resistance does sound pretty nice. But I think it's a good idea to go for the uh, Route Marcher on him as well. Maximum movement. His big names, we need to fight Ogre Kingdom, so I'm guessing that's kind of specific to the... 
either the rebel faction or I'm betting we have a quest battle against Ogre Kingdoms. That's why we don't have it just yet. But win a siege battle, which is going to be up against Karak Azor, and then rank up in raiding, which I thought we already gained. Oh, never mind. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a goob. We say we can't change it for three more turns. We have a Horde Master and Trade Lord already. Uh, it makes sense. So, Greases, before you get too hungry, come on down in into... Is he still dropping? Interesting. So, even though he's inside the circle, it doesn't completely nullify it. So we'll have you come on up, Greases, and actually drop off some of your troops with uh, Kevin, just to try to even out the, the, the meat for now. So we'll go for most of these lads here, and just all of the bulls. That's why I'm in charge. I'm thinking we can grab them on the way back. No come on back towards the Great Hall. It still claims it's going down. We'll throw it right oh, hello there, Gad. Where have you come from? So it looks like the Lazargs are going to be starting a rebellion. The All right then. In charge. Well, maybe they're fleeing from someone else. Either way, we definitely need to deal with it. I'll go ahead and check out this building here. We can go for just uh, money. I'm not going to tell them they're trespassing just because that might provoke them into attacking. It's going to drop relations a little bit every time you do tell them, hey, you're here on our land. Because of that, I don't really want to go for any more upgrades here at Grimtop. Because if this army attacks, there's nothing really we can do about it. Unless it's a massive army of nothing but Noblars. I mean, even then, we are we would definitely lose. We don't have much. Alright, well that's a little bit spicy. Uh, yeah, we're going to be saving gold for just a single turn there. If he turns around, it's a, it's a bit of a wasted turn, but... If they attack us, then it's just wasted gold. Now, heroes for us. We could throw in another lord at the Great Hall, but it, it still wouldn't be enough. Uh, so we're not going to. Butcher spices for a punishment rate or extra relations with Ogre Kingdoms. There's not going to be very many Ogre Kingdoms for long, so we're just going to go for up to the larger fire pits for extra camp, camp growth. Then from there, we'll sprint on through towards the Ogre Throng for more camps. With this, we'll take the world. Right. Gad. Turn around and leave. Or is he fighting anyone? Can we see? About the hooks. They're not for you. Yet. We're trading, right? You should leave me alone. Let's try to go for the non-aggression pack and take a little bit of gold out of the deal. And then we'll be a bit more uh, aggressive with our building. I'll check in the mine here because it's only 500 gold. And then I'm, I'm thinking we probably just want the guard tent. Yes, for sure. It's got a landmark. Anything with a landmark needs a guard tent. Landmark and a gold mine. Too rich to walk. Too rich to walk. And we'll go ahead and have the camp generate Anyone meat. Wanna challenge me? Yep, we'll have the camp generate meat. We definitely need it. Greasus is, uh, is struggling a bit here. Throw a feast in my honor. Scepter of Titans. Greasus's mighty scepter was fashioned by the Sky Titans, who granted its wielder their strength. Of late, its power has waned. The spells that imbue the scepter dull, leech of their previous power. The overtyrant's personal butcher has taken a good look at the scepter, and after a few practice swings at some nearby Noblars, has declared the item it needs to be bold in a cauldron of fresh blood to rejuvenate its power. Rhesus must set to work gathering the blood he needs to finding by finding fresh prey. Only then, once the scepter has been prepared in the unfortunate's blood and cookie juices, will the scepter of titans be restored to its full power. We just cook it for a bit. That will give us upkeep reduction for the whole army, post battle loot, recruitment reduction, bonus versus inventory, and then a nasty ability. 75% more armor piercing damage. Uh, yes, please. We need it. Loot Sacker occupy three settlements and recruit 30 new units. Hannibal Totem. An attack and 10% strength is pretty dang strong. The boss. Alright, so he's just gonna sprint through our territory to go fight. 
What are you up to, Gad? Besides trespassing on the over tyrant's land. He, he doesn't care. Alright, Goldtooth. Since you were building up meat, is there a way to know exactly so he's not consuming any? And we will be gaining... Looks like 10 from buildings and 2 from the Circle of Influence, which is going to be going up to 5 here next turn, or this turn here. Want everything. Okay, then besides that, we really need to go for trying to military. But I'm thinking just upkeep reduction for everything in the camp. Also sounds pretty great. Gives us more access to butchers. And just a nice bit of income. 1% more reward from uh, contracts. What a nice buff. Yep, the stone horns is going to be important too. How much population next turn we can go for the ogre camp? That's going to be the way. We'll go ahead and save a little bit. Although the Noblar's box for just a huge upkeep reduction is, uh, we're going to go ahead and snag this first. Here in Amble Peak, I'm going to snag just another big slab for more growth. I changed my mind. We're going to grab the uh, gold horde. We're going to make this more of a income uh, area for now. Worry about upgrading the Great Hall and everything around. Guard Hut would give us... Oh, the Guard Hut's actually going to give you growth as well. That's quite nice. Okay, so we could just make Rat Krakatin up to the, the Maw Cave as well. Doubles the income. Growth is exactly the same though, so I'm going to go ahead and make the Great Hall safer. And also increase our growth. We go for both. Gonna take four turns. Okay. Well, while we've got the gold, we might as well increase our our small little tents. Tyrant. So we'll have Kevin. He's still building up. Just from buildings, he doesn't have all that many ogres with him. Is the reason why? Well, let's have you sprint up through towards the Maw Gate. Biggest rooms his. Let's keep you right next to the Great Hall, in case, uh, of treachery. Rhesus, we'll keep you here for one more turn, building up. Units, I think, can do so. Grabbing some Iron Fist Ogre Bowls would be awesome. You've got a, I think a small shield is what that counts as. Yeah, a little smaller shield and ten more armor. Dual weapons are... Anti, uh... Anti-infantry, which is what we really need. We'll go for one armored one to be kind of the expendable ogres if we need one. Make sure we can actually afford all of this. 170, 170, and then... Uh, 170. It's going to be pretty rough. So Kevin, I'm going to have you just remove one of your ogre bulls. Not even going to worry about kicking him in here. And that should just keep us... Uh, on track. I Our gold ready. and treasury is going to get well underway soon. Yeah, I'll just give you your military access so we stop having problems. Good old Lazargs. We can go for peace with Azor and how much gold? Ooh, so much. Hush up, Stunty. We're gonna toss you in the pot. Is he gonna try to sue for peace now? He holds grudges, so he wouldn't he would likely declare on us anyway. Yeah, no. We are coming for you, sir. Everything we find is mine. Everything we find is mine. Are the Lazargs at war with you all yet, Gorst? He is building up an army. Oh, he's fighting Tepok spawn now. When did you arrive? Well, this is great. He really didn't like the Sons of the Mountain, did he? Gorst, you just stay down there in the south. Treaties with the Lazargs, aversion, and just normal strategic threat. As uh, Dragon Bro levels up, he will actually gain more relations with us just because of his his skills, so hopefully that, that kicks in very soon. 
Uh, Kevin, we don't necessarily need your troops yet, so let's go ahead and drop off a lot of them here in Grimtop. So let's go ahead and just drop three of them off here in Grimtop. Keep him traveling with a very small contingent. We'll move up to the Maul Gate and just keep an eye on the Vela Titans here. 15 out of 20. I think we can handle it. Let's get moving. So, meat. This is going to be one per unit. We've got 15, so it'll be a drop of 15, gaining 10. Yeah, onward. We'll have Furt's tank. Which is just, just the best name. Uh, we'll have you... Over the secondary point into Cascading Fire Cloak. The Dao, we are going to be pretty immune to the Burning Head, so we'll just make our own troops buff, out, buff our, our uh, damage potential in combat. Must feast. The Stunties are likely hiding in Azorn. We'll see you very soon. One more turn at the Grimtop camp until we can chuck in at the Ogre camp. It's not yet a tent, or a camp, it's just a tent. Spice Trading Post, and then that's about it. I need Guard Tent as well for now. Because, like I said, it buffs up growth a little bit as a place for him to hide. And sleep. Hungry. Alright, the turn is again ours, and we actually now have contracts available, so factions have approached you with bounties, should you choose to accept them. Carrying out one of them will reward you with riches and favor. Let's just see how much. We've got the Hero Becomes a Legend uh, mission there, so after 10 battles won by 81 Hero, they get 1,000 Treasury and the Gut Maw. It's just a bit of heals, without the downside of a Fire Weakness. The Over Tyrant. Awesome, and I don't see Gorse trying anything yet. He looks like he rose Henrik back from the dead. The boss. On your feet. Come to this crossroads here, just so we can see what the Stunties are up to. There's none of the Veil of Titans. They're likely hiding at Azorn. Scory Stonebeard, that is a full army. So we can try to go into an ambush. Being outnumbered by the dwarves is a bad call. Tribe Lord. Will we still lose? There's no meat for raiding, is there? This will bring me spoil. Okay, well we've we've overextended a little bit. We'll have Greece come on back. We should be able to get inside the camp circle from there, which will allow him to start replenishing up of his meat, and then we can have Kevin. Things are getting a little bit out of hand. How many defenders are here at the Vale of Titans? Two dwarf warriors, three miners, and two quarrelers defending. Leader of the tribe. That's pretty dangerous. Gets me what I want. Let's have Kevin stay here and keep the dwarves concerned about it. We just need to build up a little bit of gold. Oh, or not. Sneaky, sneaky, uh, Dolly. We need to run. I have no time for this. And hope they can't, uh, hope they can't catch us here. That's unfortunate. Rest in peace, Kevin, hopefully. Hopefully not a little. Coming on into our contracts, we've got the Lazargs. Extra meat for Greasus. Extra relations with the Western Provinces, as well as 100 growth. Or we could hunt down... Razor Sack the Desolation. For a bit of meat. I'm thinking hunting down Long Yuan Wang would be who both of them want us to. Chow down. Yeah, well, we will accept the Western Provinces contract. Eliminate the following character. I don't know if he's a hero or what he is, but we'll start working our way over there. We need to combine our two armies to take down one of these two. Or get them out of their Karak, one of the two. For now, though, we wait. Find me. 
the Descender Lords are gone, so that's probably going to abort our our mission there. That's not great. Oh, it says I did the Lazarg one. Hopefully it gives us a new... Well, that's all sorts of awful. It gives us some pretty, pretty poor first contracts there. We've now met the Jade Custodians. Hopefully we can become good friends and trade with them. Whatever it is he's using to flavor the meat makes it taste nicer. So it has some healing properties too. Or it, and it also has some healing properties. And it's those secret healing berries. 5% more replenishment rate. Moving on to the larger fire pits. And the Dawi are now facing the wrath of Grimgor. Lord of the Dawi in such a manner. So no one's facing off with the Blood Guzzlers. Well, that was Grimgor's first foe. We've not met them yet, so we don't get to see. Oh, well, Grimgor coming down to take down Azorn. We should go after the Veil of Titans while we can. Are we able to use any of the meat to go faster? Come and get it. And then we'll go ahead and uh, see about moving a little bit further. All the way up to Amble Peak is all we can reach. That's fine. We'll have them move together and take down Veil of Titans no matter who's there. Grimgor can have Azorn for now. We know he's going to be an enemy of ours, especially if he's going to press this far down into the mountains. A little bit concerning. The boys are Good angry. day. I warn you, I cannot make large decisions. Only is that a matters. is that a fat joke, brother? We'll trade with you. We'll get lots of goodies. It'd be awesome if you also the single coin of tribute. I am glad. If uh, every single time you let a caravan pass through your area, you would get a little bit of tax for it. And that'd be a ton of gold, maybe just 50 or uh, 25 to 50, just depending on the regions they pass through. As they would be generating uh, economy out of just through the lands that they pass through peacefully. And plus, Greece is well known for extracting toll. Right, Krakatin, let's go ahead and increase our income at all costs here. Kevin will have you do some scouting. Looks like they've abandoned the veil. Of course, we need to make sure we're not getting run over ourselves, so let's bring the Groundbreaker Kevin on back. Getting jumped by Dawi would be all the sad. Keep moving or else. So, more growth here. And then we wait. How much gold do we need to upgrade this one? 2,500. We'll gain that one from our first real brawl, which we're rumbling towards now. Little at a time. Alright, well apparently I'm wrong. Grimgor is going to take the Veil of Titans. Well, that's not great. We have currently just one province under full control. That is just the Ivory Road. We've got up to, we need Karak Azorn, which is currently Grimgor's WA target. If we claim that, that means we're under threat to be attacked by him. As soon as that WA wears off, he is vulnerable, though. In the meantime, we might have to sit around and do a little bit of waiting. Because attacking him while the WA is active is a, just a terrible idea. Coming on down and smacking... Caravan of the Blue Roses is, intri is intriguing. Kind of like to peace out with the Dawi here. That is that is a one-way ticket to making Grimgor upset. Gad is just hanging out in our lands. He looks like he is looking to uh, betray us. It's what I want. You come on down to the Maw Gate, and that's what we'll do with Greases, is we'll have him sprint on back down to where he was before. A lot of back and forth here. And we'll start up a fight with the undead while they are busy. Should also keep Kugath off us just for a little bit longer, but we will be having to fight both of the factions. He doesn't like treaties with the Western Provinces or the Jade Custodians. It's going to be... 
very short period of time before Grease is on us. Oh, mine. All yours, huh? Enter my job house and speak. I mean, we're very friendly, but... You camping all these armies in my land is, is very spooky, my friend. Fighting against the fox makers. We're being treated like me. You're fine, don't be dramatic. Alright, wonder what demons taste like. The it probably depends. Tyrant. I'm not betting uh Nurgle's demons have a have a lot of good flavor. Hey Gad, what are you up to? Go fight go fight Nurgle. Greece doesn't wipe them out yet, so if we move fast, we could take down at least a new one new territory. Take the Great Hall up. Be at Cauldron Town. We're going to start lagging behind the rest in terms of military, but that would be a huge boost to our, our economy. In charge. Let's play it smart. We're going to go for the Ogre Camp here in uh, the Grimtop Camp. And let's just go for the Guard Hut here. Kevin hangs out. Defends against Jungus. That's definitely a name. Challenge. You can switch him over into to March, but I don't think it's going to matter while he's garrisoned. Yeah, come on out. On this other side here in March. If we get betrayed, that's just the way it is. I want to try to gain a couple uh, good positive traits there. Is it time for war with Gorst? It was a non-aggression pact. He's got too many enemies as is. He's fighting the Thunder Guts as well. Where are they at? Maybe down here in the Scalded Delta? Of course not. Recruit an additional lord. Here's one here. Where's my gold? Thus markets in. He's got 215 uh, food, which is fantastic. We'll just have you keep going for bloody and raw. Yum yum, beat him up. Out pockets for everyone. Azorn's still holding for now, which is perfect. And now we start clobbering Flayed Rock. Can't quite reach. Ooh, there's Henrik. Well, I was hoping there wasn't going to be an army all the way up here. My plate. Rhesus, you stayed just here. You've got enough gold to grab a couple more troops, and I think that's definitely what we want. Let's go for one more Iron Fist. And then just two more Crossed Clubs. As many as we can gain. Pair for a fight. I'm the boss. Tyrant. Might have Kevin come back over and drop off his troops so we don't have to pay as much. Have him up, come up north to uh, take pictures for Greasus' smashing of the ogres. Or the, uh, the Dahui up here. We can also keep an eye for when it's weak and ready for us to pounce. Because Greasus' army is going to be very dangerous, but the rest of his troops shouldn't be, shouldn't be black orcs just yet. Anyone want to trade? The answer is no. Good luck getting a run over there, Scory. He wants peace really bad. I'm thinking you're about to be wiped out, so uh, the peace is going to be not possible. 1600 gold isn't worth making Grimcore mad that much sooner. Larger fire pits, a bigger pit allows for more meat to be cooked at one time, so many mouths can be fed at a single sitting. What did they leave? We could try to convince both of those armies that they can handle Greasus in a fight. If there's no Vargulfs there, I don't think they have a single a single chance. Uh, let's come on down in and raiding stance. I wanted to see if I could discover the ogres. So I could ask them to join the war. Doesn't look like we're going to get to, though. So instead, we clobber scrap towers. 
surprise, Gorst. I it's tired. an ambush. Probably an ill, an ill-fated one. We're definitely gonna want to fight this one just because, uh, obviously, we're fighting against a your poor nose. Doing his best Voldemort impression. Let's go for it. Just two chicken legs apiece. None of you are pretty. Uh, none of you are proven yet in battle, so no one gets any good snacks. Onwards to the claiming of scrap towers. Alright, so we will start deployment, try to force most of the undead kind of through this little area here and blow them up with magic spells. Ogres, we're gonna go ahead and have, uh, you guys as pumped up as we can so that way the undead are doing the same. We'll have the armored lads up front ready to throw down with both the doggos and the bats. They're kind of our spearmen. And then we'll have everyone else that's elite in the back. Ready to charge through and cause all sorts of havoc. But we can use them instead of in the back. Up here. Layered up like so. We'll have Greasus and Firebelly. Knoblars. Of course, I want to pull them apart a little bit. Knoblars are going to be less useful here against the undead just because of all the terror. They're gonna get really scared really quickly. Spearmen. We're gonna keep the Noblar sneaky boys off to the side and they'll rush in behind and try to chuck their axes at the less armored troops. I'll smell ya. Ogres, none of you in guard mode except for the Iron Fists. Let's smush them. Start moving the troops up to here. And while Grease is company running around, we can chuck a fireball at the bats. I'm curious to see just how much that's just going to go through them. Where are the Grave Guard at? Here they are. Yeah. Smash them. Smash them dead. We'll have you two go wide. Grease has come on in to smash into this group. These bats are making the worst decision of their lives. Send the clubs around the outside. On both ends there. Well, we'll keep you actually a little bit closer. Just like that, the bats are gone. Pull the clubs back. Oh, these Noblars didn't do anything at all. Reese is by himself. Go ahead and drop that leadership. Let him go for the uh, the burning head. Down the line, if we can try to keep it out of the Noblars, it'd be great. There's no telling, and if we miss everything else, it's also not useful. Come on, curve back a little bit. That's the way. Scorched him a smidge. Drops their leadership, which is really what we need. Uh, you guys engage, and then we'll bring the ogres in to crush them from there. Get them, ogres. Need some nasty skulls to crunch. Go ahead and give yourself some extra defense. And chuck a fireball into uh, the unit you're fighting. This one, somehow he was squeezing the blood out of that, squeezing blood out of a rock. He was actually making it happen. Ogres are terrifying. Well, that looks to be the battle. We just need to bring Greases on in to crush this last group. If we can chuck in a burning head. Yes, we'll scare some of our troops. Let's bring these Noblars back. In fact, Speaking of Noblars, run! Plan being just to break the leadership that much faster. There we go. 
Ogre superiority. Alright, well that's the settlement draw kick, but that is not all of them. And we did see that previous army was nearby. We're gonna go ahead and very much like to sack the settlement. Do we have enough movement to come on back in though? That's that is the question. I'm just gonna go ahead and loot and occupy. We need a Yeti Wrangler. Anyone stupid enough to tip to Cal or even converse with these savage relatives deserves their extra share of the looter grub. Actually, I think in the lore they're supposed to be pretty decent friends with the Yeti still. In fact, most camps have a like a big old horn they blow, or that they can blow that will summon the Yetis in case they need them. Greased Noblars. Step one, grease your Noblars. Step two, go faster. Is there another skill we could pick? Never. Go for some evasion here. Keep our uh, big stanky boy healthy. Are they winning against Kugath? Uh, the Gorst army is the hard counter to Kugath just because they don't take... They don't take uh, fighting the Legion as well. We could just confederate with them immediately. Yes is the way. This is going to cause so many problems though, isn't it? Not yet. Because we would have all of the public order debuffs, which we're already struggling with. We don't necessarily have a big army that can handle a rebellion. So we need Kevin actually to actually come on back towards the Mach 8 and prepare in case a rebellion kicks off. Might have to remove some of the units from a Flag Dog here. Or take the Greases is Great Hall up to Cauldron Town and see what there is perhaps here at Grimtop. Oh I think the best call is going to be waiting till Tier 2 and then grabbing in the Sabertusk pack building. That way we have some mobility and some units that can actually be very useful at chasing off enemy archers or at least getting into them and disrupting them before Grace they get to fire. Bullpen, no thanks. I will go ahead and repair the main building and chuck in a guard tent. Try to keep Greases safe. Looks like Pig Barter has just been sacked. Likely by the Legion of Asgore. Well, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to let them fall on their own. We could confederate, but that would make uh that would make the, the Chaos Dwarfs upset. Which I don't want to do. Dig a spit up to the Ogre Throng. Look what I got for you. And with that victory over the undead, I am out of time for today. I have been a Space Monster Total War. Remember to leave a like for the like god and a sub to the sub zone. I'll see you all in the next one.